high priestly. Wow, that went from actually having light to pure darkness. My phone is very weird. Hello, Prince. You are in charge of the vlog now. What shall we do? What should we do? What should we do, Papa Dog? You just want more pets. I know. Hello, guys. It be Tamus. It has been a busy morning slash afternoon. It is already... One something. One ten, yes. I have done maintenance on my fish tank. I did a 30% water change today and yesterday I went and I snipped about half of the lily pads of this thing off. So now there's actually only six instead of the 11 that there was before. There's another one coming up there, but shit there might be another one on the other side too but I will I'll let that grow a little bit um I got some new plants yesterday so that's one of them it's a little baby little baby baby but there's two more in the back that you can't barely even see but they're there I got two crypt windedi greens um, I was initially, I wasn't necessarily against crypts, cryptocorns, but it's like, they were everywhere, <laughs> and like, they were honestly the most common thing that came up for like, beginner plants other than Anubiuses or Joppa ferns, and I just didn't want to get any, especially, well, especially because of my, uh, Lily and my Scarlet Temples. Are you going to focus? Come on, focus. There you go. Um, I, I already have kind of that coppery color that I want. So, I got the green version of the Crips to kind of fill in more. But yeah, I put the two bigger ones in the kind of middle back area, just under this big piece of wood to kind of fill that in. If you notice, I also got this ginormous Anubius. It was, it's a Anubius bot, Botry? B-A-T-E-R-I, I think? Uh, Botry? Battery. It sounds like I'm saying battery, but, you know, whatever. So, I, so far, I have gotten half of my plants in here from Aquarium Co-op. Um, you notice I don't anymore have those two Anubiuses that were in the back. Um, they died off. They lost their leaves kind of like that one did, did. So those three I actually got from the local fish store. And by local, I mean over a town because it's the only one there. But, um, the other one I got is doing good, and the other Anubias is I've, and other plants I've gotten from them are doing good, they're doing great. I don't know why, it's just like, I want to say those were like the generic Anubiuses. Because like, you see kind of how, granted the leaves are bigger, but all my other ones kind of have like a wrinkle in their leaves. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that one and that one there should be the same one. Or the same type and then the other two might have come from the same pot I don't remember but basically from the little bit of looking I've done I think it's like a root rot which is kind of which kind of hit and miss but it's been pretty consistent from this one place so this big Anubius I got I actually got from aquarium co-op and it is massive it came in like two days ago you can see the big root system back there but that's how it came in and I was so stoked because that's that's actually the picture that they have for it or like that kind of size for that plant and I was looking I was like okay so it's one of the ones that get the biggest the bigger leaves but I, I it's gonna take so long to get to that big because of it being an Anubius so I'm just so stoked when I got it and I saw that they had to put it in like one of the taller stem plant bags. 
And it just, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with how big that, that came up. Um, I also got a Sturgeon's re Repens? Sturgeon Repens right there. Um, there is one part that kind of, one stem kind of came out, so I just tucked it in the side. So I'm assuming there's like four stems in there. I still have it in the pot. Um, I don't quite know where I want to like plant them yet. I got the crimps, crips planted. The Anubius is just kind of chilling there for now. Um, I kind of want to put it in the spot up here on the back of the last where I had one of those other smaller ones, but I don't want it to overshadow my Kleiner bar sword over here. Cause look at him. He's finally, he's finally happy. He's growing new leaves. He's not laying on the floor anymore. There's actually a really baby leaf in there. Let's see if I can zoom in. The focus is awful, but you can kind of see there's there's a couple real baby leaves coming out. I'm really happy about that. So I'm trying not to... I don't want the big leaves of that other Anubias to, like, block out all of his light. So I just kind of have him sitting there. So he, he's weighty enough from being big. He can just kind of stay, stay down. One of the Tetras was starting to be a little ass to the other two yesterday. Because when I feed them, I feed them these, um, these flakes. And flakes like to float. What I've noticed is that these guys don't come up to the water. They don't, they don't like to come up into like the top third. I mean, they will when they're just kind of swimming around momentarily when... I'm like not standing here, but they mainly stay in like half and down. So I actually feed them back here by the filter because the water from the filter pushes the flakes right down in the back, right to where they are. So one of them was trying to like claim that little territory where the food would fall. And so when I got the plants in, I was like, okay, cool. Well, they're getting planted there anyway. And the one blog I found said that you can either separate the one fish, make them lonely for a day to a week, depending on how, how uh, much of an ass he wants to be. Or you could rearrange a little bit and they kind of like break up the, the territory a little bit. So they just kind of remember, remember where they came from and that they're family, I guess. So that seems to have worked. I kind of, the curves were going back there anyway, so. Everything's finally happy and starting to, to grow and flourish, so I don't want to uproot anything right now. So I do want to do a little bit of rescaping a little bit, but I also need to give stuff time like the swords to get bigger and fill in. And like these two guys I got in the back there, the wavy ones. But yeah, there's a current state of the tank. He's very, very in, very planted. I don't think I'm gonna get any more plants. I think I'm good. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the repins in here before I start doing other shit. So for now, those are just gonna stay in the pot so I don't plant them and unroot, up, uh, uproot them later. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. As for back here, I got more fish this weekend. See if they're swimming up front. Oh my god, you guys can't even see that. Okay, there we go. He's focusing. So, before I try to like scour in there to try and find them, I got four more Rummy Nose Tetras and I caved and I got a German Blue Ram. I was gonna wait to get the Ram. I also kind of wanted to get the blue electric ram, but I was also flip-flopping between that and the German. And I saw the Germans, and I picked out the one that looks like the alpha male of the group. And I was just like, you might not be here by the time I come back, so I'm going to get you now. So, they're all, they're all in here. I know you can't see. It's not, the water's not clouded. It's the, um, it's the tub, I promise. But... I gave them their first dose of Paraclins today to start doing them. It's kind of hard with a five gallon because basically all of the measurements start at a base of ten gallons. 
So, yeah. I had to kind of try and half that as best I could. I don't know if we're going to be able to see them. I've noticed the Tetras like hiding in that um, uh, plastic barrel in the middle. I saw one a moment ago, but it swam away. I think... I think Mr. Rammy is in the back. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Look at the boy. Look at him. He's a big boy. Right now he's about the same size as the Tetras, though. I think the the Tetras I have in my main tank are kind of same size or bigger than him right now, so... But... Um... Yeah. That's something I was going to follow up with that. I don't have an, a name name for him yet, I've just been calling him Rami. In a weird way, I think it works. I mean, he's not doing it much anymore, but when I first saw him in the, uh, at the shop, he liked running, or like swimming and pushing his nose up against the glass, or at least along the glass, but not up front with the others, where they were like showing their colors and like, ooh, food and stuff. No, he was doing it on the sidewall, kind of turned away. That, I guess, can't think of a better name for him. Um, my friend suggested download for download more RAM, which I thought was humorous, but it's a little too long for a fish, and I don't really want to call him download. I don't, I don't know. It's just not sitting right. But then I thought of data, you know, because RAM stores data. So maybe, maybe Rammy can just be a nickname, but I feel like I'm just going to keep calling him that, so... I think his name might just be Rami now. I don't know. Yeah. I can't really make a nickname out of download. Data? Daddy? No, Daddy's weird. I think we'll stick with Rami for now. But, yep. They're they're doing alright. Um, they're swimming around. They're eating. Um, the Tetras... Uh, do have their black stri stripes on their tails. They're, for the most part though, they're still pretty white. Um, I know they, you're supposed, they want to have the red in the nose. That shows that they're doing well. But, um, they, they kind of went all white on the drive here. Including, like, basically no black on their tails either. But they, they seem to be doing alright. They're swimming around. They're, they're in a group. They No one's bullying each other. Everyone's just kind of like... You know, doing their thing. And, yeah. So. I did really think about adding them to the main tank. So... Or at least the rummies to the main tank so they could be a little happier and color up a little more and not feel necessarily so kind of concerned out there. But, but, and what's the point of quarantining if you don't quarantine? Plus, these three are still undergoing their um, prosy pro medication stuff, so. They have a couple more doses left. I, that's the one thing that bothers me. Both with... Granted, I haven't gone scouring the internet for other videos, but, like, on the bottle, they tell you what to do for the... Like, for a week's worth, like, the pattern. But they never say how long you have to keep doing it. I found a... Like, a blog or something where they gave you... It's like three different um, schedules for like a really aggressive outbreak, the normal schedule, or like a normal schedule, and then like a really light outbreak slash preventative schedule. So I've been doing, I've been keeping four days in the middle of no medication. So day one, uh, medicate, and then three days, and then 
that would be the fourth day or fifth day. If the first day of medication was day one, then on the fifth day, I medicate again. That's that's the pattern I've been I've been keeping a little bit, which I guess would be more of a normal normal regimen. But they're doing better. They're swimming around. They're eating. Um, they're not like freaking out and doing their flashing, swimming all around and stuff anymore. So that's good. Um, but they, yeah, the schedule said that they had it for 28 days, like a, like a full month kind of deal. And it's like, okay, I'll follow that because that's the closest I've got at this point. But it's like, shouldn't the bottle also say like a minimum duration? Like, I guess the minimum duration is one week, but like a lot of... I guess, but for specifically what that medication treats, where, like, the worms lay eggs and stuff, I feel like that's kind of necessary to put, like, hey, minimum dosing cycle, like, a week is a dosing cycle or something, and then, like, minimum cycle to make sure to kill off any offspring that may have hatched from eggs to... Two dosing cycles, bare minimum kind of deal. Like, they leave a lot of shit off their bottle. So, anyway, um, that's about it. The drywall guy came. I'm still zoomed in. Oh, shot. You guys probably had a really nice view of my nose that whole time. Sorry about that. But yeah, drywall guy came Monday, so yesterday. Put up new sheetrock and stuff. Did all the the mud looks looks a lot better yeah we still have to pull all that down but that's one piece of wood there so we have to take the uh, hood and everything off as well so we're gonna do that like day or two before the install people actually start installing shit but yeah uh yeah I kind of I made stuff fun for me yesterday when the guy came one of the um I think it was for the hot water the hot hotter the hot water line had a piece of wood still around it from when it was um, like in the wall slash floor. I think it was probably just the floor. But yeah, from when it was actually originally set up. So since it was a thicker piece of wood and I knew using like the hacksaw drill would end up cutting the line, I took a drill bit and I was going in sideways to split it. And it was working. Until I got about that far from the pipe. And long story short, I ended up nicking it, water sprayed. I said, oh shit, a couple times. Ran outside in my pajamas, turned the water off with the, the water key. Guy finished, received, Guy finished what he was doing. I cleaned up all the water in the kitchen that I caused. Fixed it. Cleaned up all of the leftovers from the drywall and spackle. And that was most of my day. So, don't use drills near water lines. If you do, pay attention. I was, but I didn't get a thorough look at what my drill bit was doing, and I nicked it, and yeah. Thankfully, it was a simple fix. The hardest part was just getting the top piece of the PVC into the connector, because it didn't want to go past the, the teeth the shark bite teeth to latch on so just be careful when you're doing plumbing stuff yeah yeah anyway I think my food just got dropped off and that's honestly all I all I got I got the new fish so I wanted to do an update and holy shit I did a vlog within the week of another vlog let's let's see if I can keep the trend up as long as there's shit to talk about I suppose but yeah thank you all for watching I hope you have a good day doing whatever it is you're doing whatever it is you're doing it and I'm gonna go eat my food now shall we sign off with the way we started where is my dog where's my where's the doggo where's the lord of this house um I mean yes hello I am priest oh <gasps> who's a good boy Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. There's that tail. There's that tail.
Bye.